Hello, Les from Thailand here, and today's story is going to be about my first time that I came to Thailand. It's quite an entertaining story, it's quite a funny story, but I'm sure plenty of newbies have been through the same situation. So, it all started back in 2002, and when I was going through a divorce, feeling down, feeling a bit fed up, and my friend who been come to Thailand for a number of years suggested that me and three others who have never been to Thailand before all go with him on his on his trip. He, he's been to Thailand many 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 times. So a bit of persuasion and we booked up for, for two weeks to come to Thailand. Um, he came out with a, another friend two days before we arrived so he booked the hotel where we were going to be staying and um, so he was there before we come and so there's me and my other friend who turned up into Thailand not knowing what to do where to go or how to do anything so but he'd already been prepared he told us where to catch a taxi at the at the airport which was at that time was Don Luang so it was a three hour journey up to up to um, Pattaya Excuse me, rubbing my eyes. We have lots of new, tiny little flies around, so I'm sorry about that. So the three-hour journey to Patty, we're all excited, all like looking forward to getting here. And once we arrived in Patty, our first impressions were: I've just arrived in Beirut. It was so different back in 2002 compared to how it is now. Um, we arrived at the hotel. The hotel that we stayed up. It's called the Bay Breeze. It's near Kiss 24, which is a restaurant that's open 24 hours a day. And again, it's still open today. And that was in 2002 when we first came. The reason why we picked that hotel is because if we got lost as a group of people, just need to say the taxi driver or the motorbike taxi driver, Kiss, Kiss restaurant, and then he'd take us there and then we knew we were five minutes walk away from the hotel. So that kept our bearings. Now that's very important to do also when you get into Pattaya. Either take a, a card from the hotel or know exactly a landmark that you need to get to because it's so easy to get lost in Pattaya because it's so big. Every soy is different and unless you know where your hotel is, you're going to have a very, very long night. So Bay Breeze Hotel. It's still there now, it's, it was a lovely hotel and it's right in the centre of uh, Pattaya. Right opposite the road, there's bars, there's bars all around of it. it, it's a good location. <coughs> so bearing in mind, it, it's a 12 hour flight from England over to Thailand, three hour taxi drive. So we got here about one o'clock in the afternoon and my friend just said, right, you've got to get right into it because, you know, it's light time now, we need to adjust to the time. So we were still very fatigued after our travelling, but he said, go have a shower, he said, we're going out. So the lad that took us around, been coming here for a long time, we nicknamed him the Papa San, because he was going to take care of us and make sure that we were okay whilst we were in Thailand. So by 2.30 we were all showered, shaved and ready to go out. And he took us down to, near the Dolphin Roundabout to... Uh, a soapy bar down there. Now if anybody's had a soapy, it's, it's a fantastic, wonderful feeling. I won't give away exactly what happens in there, but it's, it's one of them feelings that you'll never ever forget. A fantastic feeling. <laughs> so I suggest anybody that hasn't had a soapy, go and have a soapy, it's brilliant. But for us, who never experienced anything like that, I was like that, my eyes were like, whoa. It was like, oh, superb. That got rid of the shyness of when you first come over to Thailand because as, as, as a man who'd been married for 13 years, it's a little bit daunting that when you come here, the female attention that you get from the minute you virtually get off the plane to all the time you're in Pattaya, it's just like overwhelming. You think, wow, 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 because you just don't get that anywhere else in the world. Apart from maybe it's the Philippines or something like that. But Pattaya is wow and it's still like that now. 
a kid in a candy shop, you'll hear that expression many times, and that's what you feel like. So anyway, after the soapy, you feel, wow, you feel very refreshed, and it's just like, wow, yeah, right, okay, let's get on to it. So then we had a few beers on the afternoon, the rest of the afternoon, and then we went back to the hotel, had a shower, then we were out for the evening. Now our friend who knows the score in Thailand, he explained to us about going to pick the girl up, how much you pay, or roughly how much you should pay, and he's one bit of good advice and I'd still say this even to this day and I tell anybody that I show around Pattaya or anywhere else and it, it bears well is that no matter what happens, no matter what happens, good experience or a bad experience always pay the girl because otherwise you'll get a visit from the boys um, if you don't pay the girls. So I've had a couple of bad experiences through my eight years of being here but I've always given them the money because then that just saves any altercations later on during your holiday and you don't want to spoil your holiday for the sake of 20 or 30 pounds. So good experience and bad experience, always pay the girl. So anyway, I, I like this girl at the bar and so we, we sort of negotiated and bear in mind, this is going back to 2002, it was 800 baht for the girl for the night and it was 250 bar, bar fine. So I did that, and we'd, we'd all got our girlfriends, we were all fixed up, and so we all went back to the hotel, and we'd arranged to meet at a coffee shop for breakfast in the morning. That was to become our debriefing room. So no matter what happened every day, because we'd all split up by the end of the night, um, we always met for breakfast at 10.30 in the debriefing room. That was on Soy 8, so that was, again, five or ten minutes walk away from the hotel. Um, so anyway, my first night, took the girl back to the hotel and she just laid on the bed and I'm thinking, okay, okay. She said, no, no, I'm tired, I'm tired, no boom, boom. Tomorrow morning, do boom, boom, tomorrow morning. So my feeling was like, what? what? I've come to Pattaya and everybody talks about what happens in Pattaya and, and I get this girl go home and she doesn't want to go boom boom because she's tired, she wants to go she wants to go sleep. This is about 2.30 in the morning it was. So I'm laid there and I think, oh, what do we do, what do we do? Then my friend's message came into me, good experience, bad experience, always pay the girl. So I thought, well, I don't want to argue, I don't want to argue about this. So anyway, goes to sleep, no boom boom. So I get up in the morning, 9.30, try to wake the girl, go, wake up, wake up. No, no, I sleep, I sleep, I sleep. So I'm thinking, okay, so I made sure all my valuables were locked up in the safe. Went to the um, coffee shop for breakfast. And there's my, all my other friends over there talking about their experience on the night time. And they said, how would everything go for you, Les? I said, no, nothing, nothing. She didn't want to bum bum, she said bum bum in the morning. And my friend just went off. He went off. He said, what, what? First night here, no boom, boom. He said, right. And this was in the days, you might have heard the expression Mama Sands. Well, the Mama Sands were like the manageresses of the bars. And they're ruled with an iron fist. You know, any, any, anything that went wrong. And the Mama Sands told the girls off type of thing. So my friend went off it. He said, right, we're going to go to their bar. We're going to complain to the Mama Sand that, you know, you took her home the night before and, and nothing happened. And um, I said, yeah, okay, okay. So I went back to the room at 12 o'clock, woke her up, and then she started crying, saying, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm just tired, I work, I work, I'm tired, you know, I'm, I'm really, really sorry. And I said, it's okay. I said, my friend's going back to the, your bar to tell your mama son what went on. And she burst into tears, oh, I'm gonna get sacked, I'm not, not, nothing's gonna happen. So, so I said, right, I'm gonna, walk it back to your bar. I said, but my friends are already at your bar. And they said, oh, please, please tell them not to tell, don't, don't say nothing, don't. So I felt sorry for the girl then. And I just said, yeah, okay, I'll tell them not, not to say anything. And when we got back to the bar, there was a mama saying, and oh, wow, with the eyes, if, if she could have stared through you, like Superman eyes, she'd give this girl one of them looks that 
you, you didn't never ever want to get. So obviously a bit of shouting goes on with the, with the Mama San and this girl that I was with. And, you know, basically she, then she said to me, right, she said, take this girl again tonight and she'll give you the best night that you've ever, ever had in your life. And she's, because I've told her, she says, don't you ever do that to a customer again. So my friend was saying, don't do it, Les, don't do it, just forget it and move on. Go and find somebody else. And I thought, okay, maybe, maybe she will give me a, a good night tonight because she's sorry and one thing and another. So I'd agreed to take her again that night. So when me and my friends came away for the afternoon, we had a few drinks elsewhere. He was telling me, Les, you're a fool, don't do it. Just stupid, just move on. He said, "There's not as if there isn't a choice of people around here, he said, he said, go and give somebody else a try. And I said, well, no, I feel sorry for the girl. And she was upset and one thing and another. So foolishly, I took her out again on the night. We went out for a meal, some beers, and again, two or three o'clock in the morning, we got home. Exactly the same. Exactly the same. Oh, no, boom, boom, I'm tired, I'm tired. I'm really, really tired, I'm sorry. We boom, boom in the morning. So again, two nights in Pattaya, and it, it just didn't happen. So this time, 8.30 in the morning when I got up, I walk around and said, okay, there's your money, go. You know, go now, go now. And she wasn't going. She she was um, crying her eyes out. But at the hotel that we were at, the Bay Breeze, the security guard, which my friend knew, Buncey, he said, if you ever have any problems, ladies, go and see Buncey and he'll sort them out for you. So I went downstairs, had a word with Bunty, give him 200 baht. He came up the stairs with his big stick and chased her away. So then 10.30, the debriefing room, everybody looking with, you know, grins on the faces saying, OK, did she give you the best night that you'd ever had in your life? I said, no, same thing, nothing happened. And my friend just went right off it. He said, I cannot believe this. He said, two nights in Pattaya. And he said, nothing's happened. He's crazy, absolutely crazy. So he said, but you paid the girl, you paid the girl, yeah. I said, yeah, I paid the girl, and I also give Bunsy 200 baht to get her out of my room in the morning. So that was my first experience of, of Pattaya. Yeah. It was quite funny, I can look back now, and it's so vivid, the memory, because it's there. It, it, it's like Thailand it does this to you. It gives you the memories that you'll never, ever forget. Some good memories and some bad memories. But it was a lot of fun. But there are many more stories that I can tell out the two weeks that I was in, in Pattaya. Um, if you enjoyed the story, give it a thumbs up. If you can associate with the story, write it in the comments below. And even if you don't like it, give it a thumbs down. But I would ask you please subscribe, it helps my channel along. And if anybody's got anything that they want me to, to say or talk about, I'm more than happy to do that. I've been here for eight years. I'm as honest as the day is long. I'll, I'll tell you how it is and how it works here. No bullshit, just truthful, everything. All, all the stories I've got are all truthful. I don't make anything up. Because why make anything up? There's so many things happen over here. So many stories I could tell people, and I do tell people all the time. So from Les, living the dream in Thailand. Until the next time, bye for now.